Nick Bullen is joining us now, royal expert. Nick, it's great to have you with us. Your thoughts on this day and what we have witnessed so far? Well, it's great to be with you. Thank you very much for having me. I mean, I think, you know, lots of your commentators have said it and you guys have said it. It's been an amazing day for Britain. As Piers said, we do pageantry incredibly well. And I think, you know, just if you're tuning in anywhere around the world to watch this, you have to admit we've done it brilliantly. And as Piers said earlier, the Jubilee, the funeral, and now the coronation, they're always flawless. And I think it's the precision and, um, and it's the pageantry that just people take away every time. So it's a great day for all of us. And Nick, what do you think about this whole debate about the future of the monarchy? Because I'm not convinced that this country anytime soon, and by that I mean decades and decades, is going to seriously move to try and get rid of this, given what we're witnessing today. No, Piers, you're absolutely right. I mean, I think the future of the monarchy is really well set. You know, I've made programmes with the royal family and we've talked to them about how they operate a hundred-year plan. They're not even thinking about when William takes over or even when George takes over. It's when George's grandchildren take over. So they're always thinking a hundred years ahead. I think people in Britain really want them want the royal family still they sort of the other options just aren't really things that we'd consider and you know in america we we did a survey um true royalty my tv channel did a survey recently in america to see what americans think of the royal family and there were 34 million americans that's 34 million americans who said they were avid royal fans and then there were another 35 million who all said they were truly fascinated by the royal family. So I think when you've got this body of support, whether it's here, whether it's in the States or around the world, this isn't going anywhere. Well, you know, we always have heard that Diana was a modernizer and that she overshadowed him and the crowds wanted to see her. Do you think he's taking a page out of her book and trying to modernize now and trying to slim down the monarchy and show the people that uh, he is more progressive? He talks about the environment all the time. He's been doing that since before it was cool. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, I've filmed a lot with the Prince of Wales as he was, and yet now the King, and he was so ahead of his time with all of this. You know, he's been a modernizer. I remember back in the early 70s, he was ridiculed in the papers for wanting to put a machine into Buckingham Palace that would recycle glass. Everybody said he was ridiculous and was, you know, taking things too far. Well, recycling glass now, doesn't seem that modern, does it? But he was there well ahead of anybody. And I think today's coronation has done the same thing. It had all the pomp and pageantry and history that we want, but it also felt very modern. You know, you had the gospel choir, there were lots of celebrities. It was a broader range of people. The, the clothes were not as sort of archaic as we might have had in the past with the broader congregation. So it's, you know, he is a modernizer, but he does it very well. The Princess Royal says it best, I think, which is the royal family isn't about revolution, it's about evolution. And I think that's what we're seeing yeah. with the king. It's good, steady evolution. Absolutely right, yeah. Yeah, we just saw the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, moments ago, as she, she said earlier this week that she was relieved to be riding her horse along next to the coach because it wouldn't, uh, it took the what to wear question <laughs> off of the plate. She loves to wear her uniform. Uh, she's a very vibrant and active horsewoman. I actually saw her in, in Kensington Gardens the other day when I was out there. Uh, she was just out with three others going for a ride. So she is really one of the strongest members of this family and a very close confidant to Charles. You look at back at the images of the two of them as children playing together and uh, the life that they have had together growing up with their mother has prepared them for this moment. So. Now you see everybody who has already been part of the procession sort of gathering uh, out. Um, Stunning uniform. It is it's really amazing. amazing. All the different Thank regiments you. and all the different histories of, um, of all of these different parts of the British military. Nick Bolland, thank you so much. Really wonderful to have you with us today. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.